You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a new face for Greater Brockton, Dave Deegan, who's the director of our Technical Institute. Welcome, Dave. Well, thank you for, you for inviting me. Well, uh, full disclosure, I'm on the school committee for Southeastern, and I'm very proud of what you do and what our students do. We have a great STI, Technical Institute, over there, our evening division. Correct. Um, we have a new event coming we up do. very shortly. Tell us about it. Well, it's a tasting event, so I um, mean we've called it Taste of STI. So it's our first annual um, tasting event. Um, we we started two new programs uh, back in fourteen fifteen, uh, both a culinary arts program and a cosmetology program. And when we started talking about featuring these programs, um, we started an event that might um, incorporate both of them. So originally, we were just going to have some food from our culinary program and our cosmetology program doing an avant-garde show. And then we decided why not invite the neighborhood. So we, we reached out to um, our, all of our local communities. Um, we've got great response from some of the local restaurants. And right now I think we have 16 or 17 restaurants um, attending the event. Uh, so full tasting, it's on the 19th of May from 5 to 7 p.m. And at 6 p.m. on that evening we're also going to be doing an avant-garde show which is basically uh, hair, makeup, clothing, music, um, to show off our cosmetology program. Well, you know, I'll, I'll tell you, if you think about two of the most wonderful things at Southeastern, to go along with all the rest, um, culinary, really big program during the day, that's the one that has the waiting list, mm -hmm. to all, end all waiting list. Yes. You've expanded it to the night, Cos cosmetology. Kids do wonders, and there are people that come there um, a lot of folks, um, you know, older folks come there. I, I don't use them. <laughs> it doesn't work for me. But um, the show sounds very interesting, okay? You can't, it's not just a sample. Like, like we do the Taste of Metro South, this Taste of Easton. I've never seen anything like that. Who, who, who came up with that, Dave? Um, it was actually, we did a combined um, advisory committee meeting of both our cosmetology and our culinary arts program, really talking about, you know, how do you market a new program? How do you get the word out for a new program? You know, we've been around for 48 years, you know, and our nursing program um, has generations of students. But, you know, with a new program, even though these are quality programs with great teachers and, you know, a wonderful facility, if you don't know that we're here, um, you, you don't come. And so, you know, in our culinary program, we're open um, in the wintertime, Tuesday nights. Uh, we're open uh, Tuesdays and Thursday nights in our cosmetology program, in our clinic. Um, and we're doing a great amount of business. But, you know, we wanted just a, a little bit more outreach. So we just kind of th threw around a, a ton of ideas of what would work. And over a period of two or three meetings, it, we just created this whole event. So if people want to go, what do they have to do right now? Yep. They go to our website, which is www.stitech.edu. Uh, and, and as soon as you click on our website, there will be a prompt of showing off our tasting event. Um, and you click on the event um, into... To gain support and, and to, to put it out there and, and get as many people as possible, we've discounted the tickets. So originally they were $15 a piece, and we're discounting them 50%, so you can come for $7.50. Um, you can't, and, you can't you know, beat that. Don't eat dinner before you come. It's going to be a great event. It's, you know, there's going to be more food than you can handle. Um, and then a great show also. And if you're interested, and if you like one of our programs, or if you want a tour of the school, um, we'll have people there also to show off what we do. Now, all the programs at Southeastern Technical Institute, fully accredited there. fully accredited and I know you've done a lot of work on accreditation reaccreditation um, and there are plans we don't want to give all the whole story mm -hmm. away but there are plans to expand the program even more yeah um, we're currently in development of two new programs an electrical program and a plumbing program um, we're going through the application process right now we're hoping to be done by early fall uh, we're going to start marketing both of those programs and we'll, we'll be enrolling for the fall of 2017 now the thing about our programs at Southeastern Tech are they're they're quick, okay? I mean, nursing takes a little longer. It's it's fun for me as a member of the school committee to go to the graduations, to go to the nurses' graduation, the bidding ceremony, to see the family members, to see the kids. All the graduations are great. Tell us about you know how how quick some some are a little longer, some are a little shorter. Tell us. Most of our programs have a duration of nine or ten months. Uh, so they generally start in September. They're done by May or June. Uh, we do have a part-time evening nursing program um, that goes at half the pace. So that takes two years with both uh, July and August, often both years. 
um, and our cosmetology program, because it's evening and it needs to have a thousand hours, mm -hmm. goes for 14 months. <laughs> and again, the, there's no classes in July and August. But we've found with students, uh, they, if they can start in September and become licensed or certified by the time they leave in May or June, um, it, it works for them. And so, you know, they're, des they're designed just for that, uh, of coming, getting a new profession, getting credentials, and going to work. Now, you were telling us at the school committee meeting that um, basically there's a, there's a lifetime of placement opportunities. Yeah. If, 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 if people need the school's help to be placed, to get a job, there's support there. Why wouldn't we want to? You know, there are graduates. You know, the great thing about going to a small school is we know every one of our students, we know every one of our graduates, we know every one of our alumni. And the more successful they are out in their career, um, the better it is for us. Because, you know, they're our greatest advertisement. They come to our school and they want a profession and it changes their life and they're out there right now. And, you know, sometimes, you know, people stop their career for a little bit or, you know, other circumstances arise. We bring our students back, we tune up their resume, um, we help them job search. Um, in, in all the programs we have, there's, a, there's jobs out there. And so it's, it's not even a hard search, but we've got great, such great partners out there, and we've had such great partners for such a long time. Um, we have great connections where our students, you know, we had a, um, an advisory committee meeting the other day for our dental assisting program, and one of our members um, said that, you know, on average, there are four to five jobs for every single one of our graduates out there. Mm -hmm. well, and since the economy has come up in the last couple of years, um, so have so have the rates, you know, so have the hourly rates. Well, I was out looking for someone to help my folks and found out it was a plumbing company. This is the day program, and half the people they employ, they're not even based in our district. Down in Weymouth. Mm -hmm. The guy was a Southeastern grad, and, you know, you hear nothing but good. Usually plumbers and electricians, they're not starving to death, they're out there working yeah. and hard, the cosmetology people. Culinary's fun, the Tuesday night program, as brief as it is, it's, it, it's been a blast. Uh, we, it, I swear to God, Dave, if I actually worked at the school, I would <laughs> probably be as round as this table, yeah. eating all the food, but the, the kids did a great job, the service was good. You must have fun doing your job. Well, I'm a culinary guy, so you know, starting a new culinary program and seeing it you know, take off is a wonderful experience for, for us. Um, you know, I know, you know, when I got into the culinary industry, I was looking for a school that had quality education um, and something that I could then transfer into a career, and that's, that's, a, that's our whole mission. You know, we wanted to have people feel good about what they do and find a career that they enjoy going to work every day. Real quick, they told me I have a minute, so how, how about giving you 20 seconds phone number for the school in case people don't do the website, they just want to call. Yep, there's two numbers I'm going to give you um, to both of our secretaries. Um, to Melissa, it's 508-230-1297, and to Amy, it's 508-230-1575. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate having you on. Thank you. Okay, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.